It seems like some of you guys want me to take it back. Back in time to 2002. Life was simpler then, wasn't it? Instead of iPhones, there were flip phones and iPods. Instead of TikTok, there were Kodak film cameras. Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake had just broken up. Kelly Clarkson had just won the first season of American Idol. Everyone was hooked on the game, The Sims, myself included, as well as Zoo Tycoon. And this movie, Spider-Man, had just come out. I actually saw this movie a long time ago, back in the day. I think I saw this one in theaters. I don't think I've seen it since. I think it has genuinely been 20 years <laughs> since I've seen this movie and I, now I feel really old. <laughs> it just hit me. So yeah, it's, oh my God, I'm knocking things off the desk. <laughs> just having a quarter life crisis over here, don't mind me. It's 2022, what better year to get back into the Spider-Man spirit with this movie that started it all, at least for me, this was the movie that familiarized me with Peter's origin story, um, or Spider-Man's origin story rather. So this will forever be the Spider-Man that I always think of. Tobey Maguire is my Spider-Man. If you don't like him, that's fine. I love Tom Holland, um, but Tobey was the first guy I saw play Spider-Man on the big screen and I thought he did a great job back in the day. And I'm really excited to revisit this movie with him. I also loved Kirsten Dunst in this movie. I thought she did a really good job. I remember briefly seeing James Franco in it. I mainly just remember the origin stuff, like how he gets bit by the spider and him discovering his powers. And then I remember the whole epic kiss scene where he's hanging upside down. Who could forget that? That was iconic back in the day and it's still iconic to this day. Definitely one of the best superhero movie kisses of all time. But that's really all I remember about it. I'm excited to revisit this one. I kind of think it will hit me in the feels and the nostalgia a little bit, but also still have a lot of surprises because it has been so long since I watched it. And I'm really just excited to hop on into this movie again and revisit it. But real quick before I do, I just wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Likewise. Let me tell you, there have been many a night where Tyler and I have said we wanted to watch a movie together, sat down on the couch, and proceeded to scroll through Netflix and Hulu and all of our streaming platforms for up to an hour or more, just trying to find something that we both agree on and something that interests both of us. And by the time we end up deciding on a movie, so much time has passed that I am so tired that now I can't even make it through the whole movie. And half the time, I don't even like what we end up picking. But I don't have to worry about that anymore because now, I have likewise. Powered by a combination of smart technology and recommendations from real people, the Likewise app will give you the best suggestions of movies and shows to watch that are personalized for you. Every day, users get personalized recommendations and lists that they can swipe through in the Today tab and save their choices for later. Need a suggestion for a new sci-fi movie that you haven't seen? Just head on over to the Ask tab and see what folks in the community suggest that you check out. If you wanna follow me and see my movie lists, just click the link in my description to download Likewise for free today. Make sure to follow me over there at Natalie underscore gold. And yeah, thanks so much to Likewise for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys as always for listening to the sponsor. Sponsors definitely help keep the channel going and I really appreciate it. And with all that being said, let's get back on into the video. And with all that being said, I think we should hop on into this movie. So grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. <laughs> Sometimes I get too excited. Oh, uh, that's me. Man, it's so funny, like watching these grown adults play like students. It's, it's so funny when you see people who just look so like old for even a college student. I mean, I think he's in high school in here. Oh, oh, is she waving to her girlfriends? Oh, oh, poor Peter. Uh, you know, Charles, can we drive around the corner, please? What? James! Dad, these are public school kids. I'm not showing up for the field trip in the rolls. Don't ever be ashamed of who you are. I'm not ashamed of who I am. He just doesn't want to flaunt the money. You should be proud you raised a son who doesn't want to flaunt how rich he is. That's a good thing. Are there, oh, there were friends? I didn't think they'd be friends. I didn't think Peter had any friends. Oh, right, they're on a field trip at Columbia. This is cool. The some researchers believe it almost borders on precognition. Spider sense. Spidey sense! I didn't realize this field trip was just focused on spiders. I forgot about this. 15 genetically designed super spiders. Oh, they, they designed super spiders. There's 14. <gasps> one escaped. Yep, there it is. Can I take your picture? I need one with a student in it. Oh, that's really nice. He's gonna stand right under the spider though. <clears throat> 
<laughs> her awkward posing. That's so cute. Look at the old school like film cameras. Nowadays, people would do this with an iPhone for the yearbook. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. He's taking like four photos of her. It's funny. The spider looks the same. It's like they copied the artwork of this from the spider. It must be from the comic book, but it looks the same in Into the Spider-Verse too. There it is. That Spidey knew what he was doing. Oh, is this where his dad works? Is this his dad's business, James Franco? Yeah, here he is, Willem Dafoe. Is he working on projects for the military? I want to see the progress report on human performance enhancers. Oh, human performance enhancers. Any side effects? In one I'm sure. It was an aberration. All the tests since then have been successful. And in the trial that went wrong, what happened? Yeah, you do need to know that. Violence, aggression, and insanity. Yeah, that's pretty bad. And if your so-called performance enhancers have not had a successful human trial by that date, uh -oh. I'm going to pull your funding. Oh, fun. Maybe you should give back the Rolls Royce, sir. Maybe you should start to scale down a little bit. You, maybe you could drive a Jetta. You're the most responsible man <laughs> I've ever known. I love how in this, like, his Aunt May and Uncle Ben are, like, so much older. Like, Aunt May in the Tom Holland movies, like, she's all young and stuff. Something just feels so wholesome about them being older, you know? It also makes you feel more concerned about, like, their well-being. Did you get some pictures, Peter? He did. I got a crash. Oh, he doesn't feel good. I'm doing the stylized, like, zoom-in shots on him. Oh, look at, ooh, his bite is swollen a lot on his hand. Oh, seeing his skeleton. Oh, jeez. I remember thinking this was so epic in theaters and it's a little cheesy now because it's a little dated, but it's still great. I love it. The performance enhancers aren't ready. Listen, Willem, you just got to listen to him. We can't do this. You're going to get fired, son. Oh, no. What humans are you going to test them on? Oh, he's going to be the test subject. Oh, no. Wow. His villain arc is beginning real quick. Did, was that necessary? Did you really have to? That's just got to be cleaned up now. Oh no, he's gonna become all evil and violent and insane now with the desperation of keeping funding. I didn't realize that he like was gonna kind of turn evil so quick. I thought it was gonna take a while. <laughs> Maybe it'll be a slow decline of insanity. Oh God, it's even green. The gas is green. That's so funny because isn't doesn't he become like the green goblin? I'm pretty sure that's the villain in this. It's like creating a super soldier, but a different formula than what Stark used. Oh God, he's seizing. Oh God. Even that was kind of over the top, but I, <laughs> I'm worried about this doctor. Oh, you got a heart rate. Oh, Jesus. Oh no. Oh no. Oh God. He's, oh, he's really crazy. Oh, he's going to kill the poor scientist. Wait, <laughs> no, not the scientist. He didn't do nothing wrong, man. He just saved your life. Oh, he can see now. Ha ha. Weird. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I just have perfect vision and, and muscles. <laughs> Does he live next door? Is she literally the girl next door? She's literally the girl next door. Oh, okay. That's funny. Okay, don't spy on her. She's getting ready though. That's a little creepy, Peter. Is this his house in New York? That's insane. It's gonna be so expensive. Oh, his dad's not doing so well. I don't even, I don't, how did your dad even get home? Last night I was. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that really scared me. Dr. Strom is dead. Yeah, you killed him. And the flight suit and the glider? What about it? It's been stolen, sir. Oh yeah, you stole it. I'm sure you stole it. Oh my God, it's like Jekyll and Hyde. He's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. She's never looking at you, bro. Oh, is he gonna catch her? And her food? Wow, great reflexes. Yeah. <laughs> you just get contacts? Uh-huh. Just say yes. Well, see ya. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how you continue the conversation if he's not responding. <laughs> to me, Tobey Maguire was just like the naturally, like the, the most awkward. <laughs> like he was so cringingly awkward. And that's why I believed him as like the dorky guy. Oh, you're screwed. Oh, you're screwed, dude. Uh-oh, here he comes with his little belt chain. Oh, his spidey sense, he senses him coming. Wow, a lot of people are gathering in this hallway for this fight. I wonder how long it'll take to get broken up by, I don't know, a hall monitor? They seem really like not attentive at this school. Oh, look at him. He's just dodging it like it's slow-mo. This is crazy. Help him, Harry. I don't think he needs it. I think you just get in the way. Oh, and of course now a student sees him or a teacher is going to see him. And now he's probably going to get in trouble. 
That bully did deserve that, though. Putting two and two together. Oh, and there just happens to be a spider there. Making a web in the barbed wire. That's hardcore. Ew. Ew, I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, he's going to try to climb the wall now. Oh, do it. Yeah, don't look down. <laughs> oh, he loves it. He's crazy. He escalates so fast. Oh, that looks so fake, though. Oh, my God, the CGI. It really is, like, so dated. Oh, he's going to try the... <gasps> The webs. Go web! Oh. Fly! <laughs> up, up, and away, web! <laughs> That's funny. He's trying to figure out what's gonna do it. Tally ho. Tally ho. <laughs> Is he gonna hit the wall? Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, good. Oh! Yep. Oh, Jesus. Ouch. Oh, God. <laughs> That's pretty fitting for your first time. Oh, he missed painting. He missed painting with his uncle. No, these are precious moments you can't get back, Peter. Can't wait to get out of here. Yeah, I bet you can't, girl. I wanna... What? What, does she wanna be an actress or something? I wanna act. Yeah, I knew it. Why did I know it? How did I know it? You're awesome in all the school plays. Oh, oh, look at him being so supportive and encouraging. She probably doesn't get that from her parents. What do you see coming for you? Come climbing walls, <laughs> swinging from buildings. You're gonna line up Broadway. Oh, that's so sweet. You're taller than you look. <gasps> <laughs> You're taller than you look. Oh. Oh, that was like a subtle message to him. Like, hey, you should be more confident. Hold your head up high. Aww. That was so cute. Cool car. Yeah, don't worry, dude. That's all he has is a cool car. <laughs> oh, is he looking at cars now? Is he going to save up for a car? Amateur wrestlers. Oh, he's going to go make money. I didn't know. I forgot about this. I didn't know he came up with a costume to make money. How are you going to make the costume? Oh, first we get started with popular soda brand. Oh, not the photo of your family. Not the lamp. Bro, maybe you should practice somewhere else. I'm exercising. I'm not dressed, Aunt May. You're, exercise you're exercising naked? Is that what you're just telling her? Did you just tell your aunt that you're exercising in the nude? <laughs> the downtown library. I'll see you later. Oh, yeah, wait, Pete. I'll, uh, I'll drive you there, buddy. Oh, no, I'll take the train. No, no, no. I need the exercise. Go on. Go, 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 go. You say I'll drive you there because I need the exercise? I need the exercise? What? That doesn't make sense, my man. You drove. Well, we can talk now. Talk to him now, Peter. Talk to him now. Just talk to him. You're changing. I know. I went through exactly the same thing at your age. No, not exactly. Not exactly, but just let him say that it's exactly, okay? But just because you can beat him up doesn't give you the right to. Yeah. Yeah. With great power comes great responsibility. I'll figure it out. Stop lecturing me, please. Oh, don't say this to your uncle. He... And I know I'm not your He's father. Really... Then stop pretending to be. Oh, don't do that. He's just being really nice and just giving you good advice. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, I forget when he dies. Uh, is he going to die soon? I'm going to lose it, man. I don't have tissues here. <laughs> I'm not going to be okay. Stop being so mean to him. Oh, God. <laughs> That's who you're facing off against, Peter. Oh, Jesus. And then little Peter's gonna go up against him and he looks all young and scrawny. Honestly, he's not an adult. Like he's, well, maybe he is 18. Maybe he is old enough to do it. Cause he's a senior, he could be 18. What's your name, kid? The human spider. Oh, the human spider. Oh, that sucks. He's, is he gonna rename him? The Amazing Spider-Man! The amazing Spider-Man, he changed his name, that's great. Get out No, he got my name wrong. Get out Peter, it's better, trust me. Get over it, your outfit sucks too, all right? You got a lot to learn. Kill him, oh my God, this crowd is deadly. They're savage, man. They put a cage down? Well, that's good, he can climb the cage. You can climb the cage, Peter, that's great, that's your advantage. <laughs> good job, look at him. Oh, a chair, not a chair. Oh, Peter! You don't let yourself get hit or it's over, man. I like how his thing is bone saw and everybody has like fake saws in the crowd. They're sawing their arms off. Oh God, Peter! Is that a, a, a freaking crowbar? Oh, oh geez. 
Woo! Oh, goodness. Yay, you did it! You did it, Peter! You should do that again next week. Easy $3,000. Well, check it again, webhead. It said three grand for three minutes, and you pinned them in two. Oh, come on. I give you a hundred, and you're lucky to get that. Wow. Oh, wow. This is where the whole speech from his uncle really comes into play. Like, is this the kind of person you want to be? Not really. Hey, what the hell? Put the money in the bag. Oh, is Peter going to step in and be a hero now? This is going to be his first heroic moment. Oh, he's not. Thanks. He didn't stop him. Now he's going to get away with my money. I missed the part where that's my problem. Oh, oh. He ain't wrong. I mean, I get it, but like, is this the kind of person you want to be, Peter? This is like really dark, you know? You're like making the active choice to be like a jerk. Oh no, oh no, oh no, is this Ben? Stay back! My uncle. Oh my God. Carjacker, he's been shot. Oh no. Wait, was it the guy that Peter didn't stop? Was it Peter's fault indirectly? I thought he got hit by a bus or something. I forgot how he died. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus, man. He's gonna go after the carjacker. Yeah, he's gonna go after him. Man, I forgot how stylized that acting scene was with Uncle Ben. Just holding on their faces, not really like letting them move. But it's still so sad. I'm sure it's the same guy that he let get away. Ugh, the musical score is just so great. Oh, God. Honestly, if you just let the cops pursue him, they'll probably catch this mother He's not very good at driving. Oh, he got on the car. Oh, don't get shot, Peter. Oh, jeez, ow. Well, you stopped him. Oh, it's totally the same guy. It's the guy he let get away. That's so sad, man. Holy moly. Who's there? Oh, that shot is really cool. Oh, that's really cool, too. Seeing the shadow of him moving and then him pursuing him like a horror villain. No. Oh. oh, is he gonna kill him? Oh. He let him die. Oh, wow. Holy moly. Oh, Peter, you're so dark. He's just having a reckoning with himself about like the kind of person he is and who he wants to be. It's just so sad that like the last words from his uncle were like telling him to be careful about like the man he's going to become. Oh, they were such a cute couple. I'm really sad. Nothing makes me sadder than like old couples who like they grow old together and then one of them dies. It's just so sad. Oh, I get so worked up about it. We are picking up an unidentified object, closing fast. What the hell is that? Oh. Oh my God. Wait, what the hell? Oh my God, he just infiltrated like this military test and just blew them all up like a psycho. <laughs> what? What the heck? Just the one single tear sitting here streaming down his face. Just sitting here crying with the door open. <laughs> Honestly, me. <laughs> I can't help thinking about the last thing I said to him. Yeah, it was pretty horrible. But it wasn't really technically the last thing you said to him. You did see him as he was dying. Ugh, problematic. I don't have any tissues. Hurry up. Oh, he's gonna stop some robbers. Wait, his costume's just automatically revamped. He just knew there was a robbery going on here immediately. Easy peasy. I think he's human. I think he's a man. Could be a woman. <laughs> this is so funny. We're already doing the little like talking heads with people around New York. He has little notes that he was leaving. Oh my God. He's a criminal. That's who he is. Oh, JK. Yes. Look at that stylized haircut with the flat top. So journalistic of you. Cash money for a picture of Spider-Man. He doesn't want to be famous, and I'll make him infamous. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do remember that line. That was such a good line. <laughs> Peter! MJ! Hey! Was he just sitting out here waiting for her? Buzz off! Oh. MJ, it's me, Peter. Oh. <laughs> she just assumed that it was like some creep on the street. I, I relate to that. My guard's always up in New York City. You draw always short six dollars. Next time that happens, I'm gonna take out your check. Wow. Oh, she's embarrassed. Listen, honey, we all, we've all worked customer service gigs. Most people who are actors start off as waiters. Like, it's not embarrassing at all. We're going out, didn't he tell you? Oh, she's going out with Harry. He didn't know that. He doesn't live on a little place I like to call Earth. <laughs> yeah, he's rich, rich. <laughs>
But also, he seemed, like, self-aware. He didn't want to pull up to school in the Rolls Royce. He put up a photo there. He's doing it for himself. Look at that. He's his own photographer. That's amazing. Cheese. That's amazing. Even at night, he got photos so bright and well lit. Incredible. Just with a little flash. But I never said you have a job. Meat. Meat? I'll send you a nice box of Christmas meat. Best I can do. Get out of here. What? <laughs> What is this, like an edible arrangement, but meat? What do you mean? Oscorp Industries has surpassed Quest Aerospace as the principal supplier oh. of the United States military. Mm. Yes, because you blew them up. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's the reason we're selling the company. Ah. Oh. Yes, Quest Aerospace is recapitalizing in the wake of the bombing. They made a tender offer we can't ignore. The board expects your resignation in 30 days. Oh, that's crazy. That's so savage and horrible. You know how much I sacrificed? Oh, he's losing it. The board is unanimous. Well, you guys are all gonna die then. Sorry, he's gonna murder all of you. Shouldn't he at least get paid like a lot to be out? Or just no, cause the board votes no. Like that, like you're out. That's crazy. Oh, he's going crazy. Oh boy, some is gonna go down at this festival. Oh yeah, there they are together. Oh, oh, she doesn't like him like that, though. Why are you dating him if you don't like him like that? Oh, and Peter sees. Now he knows. Peter knows. Wow. So sad. He's being such a bad friend. Oh, Spidey sense. Spidey sense is tingling. Is it because of the goblin? Is it because of Willem? Have you seen my father around? Oh, uh, Willem, I'm not sure if he's uh, coming today. Oh, he's coming today. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's gonna scare the shit out of everybody here. Oh boy. What kind of chaos is he gonna cause? Cause his son is here. If he does anything that would put his son in like serious danger, that's so fucked up. But also he doesn't really seem to love or respect his son that much. What the hell was that? It's your dad. It's your daddy. He's blow- He's blowing up the area where all the people he hates are, but also where his son is. He's crazy. Is this because of the insane vapors or is it because, oh, Stan Lee, or is it because he just doesn't give a shit about his son? <laughs> Must be the vapors, right? Okay, you got to save MJ. Time to save her. Come on, Peter. Oh, he's got to do a costume change first. Out, am I? Oh, well, you just gave it away that it's you. What the f Just turn him into skeletons. Oh my goodness. What a creep. Impressive. Oh. Oh, oh, he's a, it's an even match. Oh no, oh no. He's very strong. Oh, bungee jumping, fun, see? It's funny how he didn't just put her down right there. He's like, no, 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 let's get you out of here. <laughs> oh, he took her to a nice park. Oh, we're two other people. We're having a, a romantic moment. She's smitten. <laughs> he's on cloud nine and she's smitten. <gasps> Now he's getting drunk on bourbon. He's losing it. Oh my God. He's like hearing the voice of the goblin in his head. So is he blacking out every time he's the goblin? That's crazy. Did you think it was coincidence? Now he's talking to himself. All for you, Norman. <laughs> oh, what is with him and breaking glasses? He loves to do that. To remove those in your way. <laughs> so creepy. He's doing a really good job of like doing this Jekyll and Hyde thing. We killed them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. There's only one who can stop us. Spider-Man. Or imagine if he joined us. Oh, it's really trippy seeing him look in the mirror like terrified of himself, earnestly scared. Green Goblin, you like that? Mr. James. Made it up myself. It's a great name. How about Green Meanie? No. That green meanie. I trust my barber. Really? Do you trust your barber? I wouldn't trust your barber. They said I needed acting lessons. Yeah, you probably do. A soap opera told me I needed acting lessons. <laughs> well, yeah, it means you're, that's actually a good sign because soap opera acting is not the same as acting everywhere else. <laughs> so you might be more natural. Oh, he's gonna instantly swoop in and go save her. Is this, is the kissing scene coming up? Because I remember that did take place in the rain. Oh God, why did you turn to run down this dark alleyway? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh God, a knife, Jesus. Good job, Peter. Oh right, this is back in the days of, it was cool to show like nipples on screen, like hard nipples through t-shirts. That's not as much of a thing anymore. Oh, he doesn't have his mask. 
Look at him running away all theatrically. Looked like a stage runaway, the way he pivoted. Oh, he has a mask now. I think I have a superhero stalker. I was in the neighborhood. I was in the neighborhood. I'm surprised she's not recognizing his voice, but it's probably because he didn't talk to her much until like this year. Ooh. Sorry, Harry. You lost her. You lost your girl. It's over. Who's in here? Where are you? Oh, is it the goblin? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You're pathetically predictable. This is a pretty cool set, I'm not gonna lie. It's you who's out, Gobby. Gobby? We're calling him Gobby now. Oh. Dodge it like Neo in the Matrix. Oh, those are like a bunch of little snitches but with like scissors. Oh. Oh, God. He left? Good job. Good move. No one says no to me! <laughs> the flame <laughs> transition. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so funny. I'm sorry I'm late. Work was murder. Uh-huh. It was. It was literal murder. Why, Peter? You're bleeding. Oh, no. Why'd you bring that up, Aunt May? No. Oh, Aunt May. Oh, Aunt May. Aunt May! Oh, God, he's losing it. Oh, no. This girl is important to me. Harry, please, look at her. Look at her? He's calling her a gold digger? After your trust fund like a pack of ravening wolves. That is horrifying. That's, that's awful. I meant horrible. Do what you need to with her, then broom her fast. Oh, my God. Oh, it's like the evil part of him is coming out more and more. Oh, it's so sad. That is just awful. Well, Thanksgiving has been ruined. Yeah, so I think Peter still doesn't know that he's the Green Goblin, but Willem has figured it out. Parker must be edgy. He put the mask on the chair to symbolize the two sides of him. Make him wish he were dead. Yes. And then grant his wish. Or just, or just not. You could just like not let this Green Goblin figure take over your entire life. Lead us not into temptation. She's praying with her husband. Oh, Aunt May! Christ, not Aunt May! Oh, no! What about her poor, what, really? We had to put her through this? This is awful. Those eyes, those horrible yellow eyes. Oh God, she's going crazy. He knows who I am. Yeah, he does. So he's putting it together now that it's Harry's dad, maybe, or at least somebody he knows. Man, I forgot about this part. I didn't realize Aunt May got put through hell too. That's just awful. You know, really the best course of action is if you're like a superhero, it's really good to only love and get attached to other superheroes that can also protect themselves and fight. Because anybody you love who's not, who can't protect themselves, it's like a risk. I'm in love with somebody else. You are? Oh yeah, you're in love with Spider-Man? May's waking up, she's listening. Hey, <laughs> sneaky May. I'm sort of his unofficial photographer. Uh, has he mentioned me? Yeah. like gossiping like two little girls but it's about him this is so funny oh 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 now harry's here oh f okay harry is here now oh god oh god well oh well, that's awkward oh god did harry just come home and his father's losing it upstairs that's great dad's not home anymore son oh you're right about mj you're right about everything you no, he wasn't. She's in love with Peter. That doesn't mean, but she's not a gold digger. Oh no! Oh no! There's no one Peter cares for more. Oh no! You shouldn't have said that, James. Oh bad. Oh no! I've lost sight of that somewhere, but I gotta make it up to you, Harry. I'm gonna kill your friend, Peter. <laughs> oh, look at the little tear kind of sitting in James's eye a little bit. I feel bad for Harry. <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. Would it be so dangerous to let Mary Jane know how much you care? Yes, it would. Everybody else knows. Uh-oh. Penny's dropping. Yep. Hello? <laughs> he was just sitting there waiting in the house. Where is she? Ooh, sharp cut. That'd be a perfect place for a commercial break uh, if this was playing on TV. Oh, oh God, girl, 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 girl. Oh, she was in her pajamas. He freaking knocked her out with gas and brought her here. Are we on the top of a bridge? Let die the woman you love. <laughs> Suffer the little children. Oh, that's great. Oh my God. That's, that's one of those questions that people ask you. Like, would you let the train run over one person you love or five random people? Quick, make a decision, Peter. He's gonna do both. He's gonna save both. How is he holding on to all of them? He's like, okay, Mary Jane, just hold on to me and I'm gonna hold on to the, the, the thing. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Ah! 
Oh God, now he's getting involved. Oh no. Hang on, hang on. Oh my God, that looks so fake. <gasps> Who's intervening? Who was that? Oh, somebody on the bridge. Nice, nice. Look at this team effort. Nice, great job. Great job, everybody. Ooh, that sound design was really great. So I love, oh, f there's a lot of silence interfused with the noises of like smashing of glass and breaking of bricks. It's cool that his mask is half blown off too. Nice. Ooh, I'm sure that's not, he's got, he needs more than just that though. <laughs> Look at the one arm rising out of the, the rubble. Nice, don't let him recover. Peter, stop. Stop! It's me! You think he cares? Oh, I guess he hasn't pieced it together yet. That's right, he just knew that the guy knew him. Holy You tried to kill Aunt May. You tried to kill Mary Jane. But not you. Yeah, you did! Yeah, you did! You're doing it right now. Uh-oh. Peter. Spidey sense. P Spidey sense. Peter, it's an act. Oh, it's gonna be his own undoing. Oh. Oh! <laughs> it's his own undoing. Ooh, right in the groin. Wait, it had to be in the groin though? Couldn't have been in the abdomen? <laughs> Jesus. Don't tell Harry. <laughs> oh, don't tell Harry. Wait, that's so crazy because that's what MJ and him said earlier about dating. Like, oh, don't tell Harry that we're gonna hang out. The line repeated, but it's a lot sadder now. Wait, aren't people gonna ask questions about why he has <laughs> stab, stab through the groin? Oh, he's gonna know it was Spider-Man. He was there. <laughs> oh, shit. this is bad. He's gone. Oh no. Now he's, oh no. Oh no, We did we just create another villain because now he's gonna hate Spider-Man. Oh no. That's so sad. These kids are really losing a lot of family members. One day Spider-Man will pay. Oh, fun, that's great, yep. Thank God for you, Peter. You're what? the only family I have. Oh God, oh God, oh no. Oh my God, that is so crazy. Oh, that is so crazy. What happens when he figures out that Peter is Spider-Man? That's gonna like wreck him. When I was up there, there was only one person who I was thinking of. Was it Peter? And it wasn't who I thought it. She thought it'd be Spider-Man, but it was Peter? It was you, Pete. Aww, that's so sweet. Who makes me feel like I'm more than I ever thought I could be. That's true. Every time he's spoken to her, he's like, you're going to be great. You're going to do great things. Like, you're going to light up Broadway. Oh, oh, this is so sweet. This is so beautiful. All I wanted was to tell her how much I loved her. Oh, is he not going to do it because he doesn't want to put her in danger? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I will always be your friend. Oh, God. Peter. That's all I have to give. That's not true, Peter. Peter. Oh my God. This is so sad. He just friend zoned her to protect her. I hate this. No. You know, I bet in the next movie, he's, they're gonna get together anyway. And it was just gonna be like time wasted. That's what always ends up happening with these kinds of things. Like, like, no, I can't be with you. I, it's too dangerous to be with me. And then there's, there's like a whole book or movie where they're not together and then, and then they're together. So I feel like that's what's probably gonna happen. That was so fun. It was a lot more sentimental than I expected to get. I honestly cried way more than I thought I would. I knew I was gonna cry at least like once for Uncle Ben, but oh. oh my God, it's been so long since I watched this movie. I completely forgot a lot of the editing and transitions and like stylized ways they would film things back, especially in the early 2000s. Like a lot of the scenes where Peter was changing or Willem Dafoe's character was changing. They would do these really tight like punch-ins on their eyes and like these flashes of like their skeleton or the goblin in his head and just this really flashy kind of quick stuff that was going on. And you don't really see as much of that in that same style anymore. We even got like a lot of flashback moments to remind us of things that happened earlier in the movie. and. The black and white sequence with Peter um, remembering the guy from earlier that he let escape and Uncle Ben um, dying because of that. 
that sequence was like in black and white and it was just so stylized. I do enjoy watching movies from during that time for that reason because it is interesting to look back and see what we do differently now versus what was done back then. It's funny because like, <laughs> I feel like the early 2000s wasn't that long ago, but it was 20 years ago. So yeah, I would expect stuff to be different, especially things like CGI. Um, it just looks so much more realistic now. But I mean, back then, this was amazing. Like this was perfect and incredible. And um, it's still great. I, I don't think that it's too dated. There are just some moments that are very stylized, uh, also in the acting, but I think the story is just so great. I think Willem Dafoe did a great job as the Green Goblin. I, I really enjoyed his whole Jekyll and Hyde thing he had going on. I just thought he did a really good job with it. J.K. Simmons is great in this movie too. He's hilarious. I forgot how many great lines he has randomly. Like I just completely forgot about his character. I think Tobey Maguire is like <laughs> perfect as like awkward Peter. That's one thing I will say. Like I think Tom Holland, I love him. I think he's, I, I've really grown to love him a lot as a Peter Parker. Um, but he's kind of just like charming naturally. So he has to play up the awkwardness a little bit. And I do believe it. But with Toby, it's like actually awkward. <laughs> I actually believe him as like this dorky, awkward guy who just can't talk to girls. Like I really, truly believe that that is him in these scenes. So uh, for that reason, I always really enjoyed <laughs> his portrayal as like dorky Peter. There are just some great lines that I really forgot about in this movie. <laughs> I really liked it. It was really fun. Music is incredible, too. That definitely didn't surprise me. I think I remember the score being incredible when I was younger and just being wowed in the theater. Um, even with Into the Spider-Verse, the score was incredible, too. Sony just, they're great with music. I'm really excited to see the next one because I don't think I've seen the other two movies in the Rami Spider-Man trilogy. He might have directed more movies actually, but the three that I'm thinking of are like the three original Spider-Man movies. And I don't think I've seen the other two. I think I remembered the end of this movie and knowing that James Franco was going to pursue Spider-Man. So I'm expecting that he will be the villain in the next movie, but I don't know who he's going to play or maybe he'll be the villain in the movie after that. I, I don't know what his character will end up being. I know a lot of you guys have mentioned to me that it's crucial to watch these movies as well as the Andrew Garfield ones before watching Spider-Man No Way Home. It is making more sense to me now because I do remember watching the trailer and there's Otto, Op Octavius, and he kind of reminds me of like, he seems like the male version of the female scientist that was in Into the Spider-Verse, which she might be based off of him. They both had like the tentacle claw arm thing going on. And when I was running this movie here on Amazon just now, I saw thumbnails for other movies below and I saw him. So I'm assuming he's gonna be the villain in one of these movies um, that I need to watch in order to understand all the nuances of Spider-Man No Way Home. I also did see that the Green Goblin was in that trailer briefly. So it does make sense to me that you guys would want me to watch all these movies so that I understand all of the Spider-Man stories that we've had put out there up until this point. I think it will make the experience that much more enjoyable. And luckily, I have to wait a while for it to be released. I mean, we still don't know exactly when it will be available to watch online. I know they have a 90 day, is it a 90 day theatrical window? It could be longer actually, but I know they at least have a 90 day theatrical window. So we have a while before it won't be in theaters and it will be available online. So I definitely have some time to catch up, which is exciting. I also have seen an Andrew Garfield movie. I think it was the same version, like it was his origin story. I wasn't as much of a fan of it, I will admit, but it was so long ago. I saw that one in theaters too. Um, so I'm definitely willing to revisit it and see what moments I miss that maybe I understand better now. Maybe my opinion has changed after watching this so many years later. It'll be interesting to see. That's another reason that I'm so invested in Peter Parker as a character. Like he is the only superhero that I saw in theaters growing up. Like I didn't go to superhero movies growing up except for this Spider-Man movie and the Andrew Garfield one. And I think that's just why I'm so attached to him as a character. I think that's just why I like Peter Parker so much. Yeah, I'm excited to continue on this journey with you guys and see what the next movie has in store. But until then, that is all I have for you in this video. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and it lets me know that you guys wanna see more content like this. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.